Public finance is the study of the role of the government in the economy. It is the branch of economics which assesses the government revenue and government expenditure of the public authorities and the adjustment of one or the other to achieve desirable effects and avoid undesirable ones. The purview of public finance is considered to be threefold governmental effects on efficient allocation of resources, distribution of income, and macroeconomic stabilization. Overview The proper role of government provides a starting point for the analysis of public finance. In theory, under certain circumstances, private markets will allocate goods and services among individuals efficiently. If private markets were able to provide efficient outcomes and if the distribution of income were socially acceptable, then there would be little or no scope for government. In many cases, however, conditions for private market efficiency are violated. For example, if many people can enjoy the same good at the same time, then private markets may supply too little of that good. National defense is one example of non-rival consumption, or of a public good. Market failure occurs when private markets do not allocate goods or services efficiently. The existence of market failure provides an efficiency-based rationale for collective or governmental provision of goods and services. Externalities, public goods, informational advantages, strong economies of scale, and network effects can cause market failures. Public provision via a government or a voluntary association, however, is subject to other inefficiencies, termed government failure, under broad assumptions. Government decisions about the efficient scope and level of activities can be efficiently separated from decisions about the design of taxation systems. In this view, public sector programs should be designed to maximize social benefits minus costs, and then revenues needed to pay for those expenditures should be raised through a taxation system that creates the fewest efficiency losses caused by distortion of economic activity as possible. In practice, government budgeting or public budgeting is substantially more complicated and often results in inefficient practices. Government can pay for spending by borrowing. Although borrowing is a method of distributing tax burdens through time rather than a replacement for taxes, a deficit is the difference between government spending and revenues. The accumulation of deficits over time is the total public debt. Deficit finance allows governments to smooth tax burdens over time, and gives governments an important fiscal policy tool. Deficits can also narrow the options of successor governments. Public finance is closely connected to issues of income distribution and social equity. The public choice approach to public finance seeks to explain how self-interested voters, politicians, and bureaucrats actually operate rather than how they should operate. Public finance management. Collection of sufficient resources from the economy in an appropriate manner along with allocating and use of these resources efficiently and effectively constitute good financial management. Resource generation. Resource allocation and expenditure management are the essential components of a public financial management system. Public finance management basically deals with all aspects of resource mobilization and expenditure management in government. Just as managing finances is a critical function of management in any organization, similarly public finance management is an essential part of the governance process. Public finance management includes resource mobilization, prioritization of programs, the budgetary process, efficient management of resources and exercising controls. Rising aspirations of people are placing more demands on financial resources. At the same time, the emphasis of the citizenry is on value for money, thus making public finance management increasingly vital. The following subdivisions form the subject matter of public finance, public expenditure, public revenue, public debt financial administration, federal finance, government expenditures. Economists classify government expenditures into three main types. Government purchases of goods and services for current use are classed as government consumption. 
Government purchases of goods and services intended to create future benefits, such as infrastructure investment or research spending, are classed as government investment. Government expenditures that are not purchases of goods and services, and instead just represent transfers of money, such as social security payments, are called transfer payments. Government operations Government operations are those activities involved in the running of a state or a functional equivalent of a state for the purpose of producing value for the citizens. Government operations have the power to make and the authority to enforce rules and laws within a civil corporate, religious, academic, or other organization or group. Income distribution Income distribution Some forms of government expenditure are specifically intended to transfer income from some groups to others. For example, governments sometimes transfer income to people that have suffered a loss due to natural disaster. Likewise, public pension programs transfer wealth from the young to the old. Other forms of government expenditure which represent purchases of goods and services also have the effect of changing the income distribution. For example, engaging in a war may transfer wealth to certain sectors of society. Public education transfers wealth to families with children in these schools. Public road construction transfers wealth from people that do not use the roads to those people that do. Income security, employment insurance, health care, public financing of campaigns, financing of government expenditures. Government expenditures are financed primarily in three ways. Government revenue taxes non-tax revenue. Government borrowing. Printing of money or inflation. How a government chooses to finance its activities can have important effects on the distribution of income and wealth and on the efficiency of markets. The issue of how taxes affect income distribution is closely related to tax incidents which examines the distribution of tax burdens after market adjustments are taken into account. Public finance research also analyzes effects of the various types of taxes and types of borrowing as well as administrative concerns, such as tax enforcement. Taxes taxation is the central part of modern public finance. Its significance arises not only from the fact that it is by far the most important of all revenues but also because of the gravity of the problems created by the present-day tax burden. The main objective of taxation is raising revenue. A high level of taxation is necessary in a welfare state to fulfill its obligations. Taxation is used as an instrument of attaining certain social objectives i.e., as a means of redistribution of wealth and thereby reducing inequalities. Taxation in a modern government is thus needed not merely to raise the revenue required to meet its ever-growing expenditure on administration and social services but also to reduce the inequalities of income and wealth. Taxation is also needed to draw away money that would otherwise go into consumption and cause inflation to rise. A tax is a financial charge or other levy imposed on an individual or illegal entity by a state or a functional equivalent of a state. Taxes could also be imposed by a subnational entity. Taxes consist of direct tax or indirect tax, and may be paid in money or as corvée labor. A tax may be defined as a pecuniary burden laid upon individuals or property to support the government. A payment exacted by legislative authority, a tax, is not a voluntary payment or donation, but an enforced contribution, exacted pursuant to legislative authority, and is any contribution imposed by government whether under the name of toll, tribute, tallage, gable, impost, duty, custom, excise, subsidy, aid, supply, or other name. There are various types of taxes, broadly divided into two heads, direct and indirect tax, stamp duty, levied on documents, excise tax. Sales tax value added tax is a type of sales tax services taxes on specific services. Road tax, vehicle excise duty, registration fee, regco, vehicle licensing fee etc. Gift tax, duties, corporate income tax on corporations, 
wealth tax, personal income tax, debt governments, like any other legal entity, can take out loans, issue bonds and make financial investments. Government debt is money owed by any level of government, either central or federal government, municipal government or local government. Some local governments issue bonds based on their taxing authority, such as tax increment bonds or revenue bonds. As the government represents the people, government debt can be seen as an indirect debt of the taxpayers. Government debt can be categorized as internal debt owed to lenders within the country and external debt owed to foreign lenders. Governments usually borrow by issuing securities such as government bonds and bills. Less creditworthy countries sometimes borrow directly from commercial banks or international institutions such as the International Monetary Fund or the World Bank. Most government budgets are calculated on a cash basis, meaning that revenues are recognized when collected and outlays are recognized when paid. Some consider all government liabilities, including future pension payments and payments for goods and services the government has contracted for but not yet paid, as government debt. This approach is called accrual accounting, meaning that obligations are recognized when they are acquired or accrued, rather than when they are paid. This constitutes public debt. Seigneurage Seigneurage is the net revenue derived from the issuing of currency. It arises from the difference between the face value of a coin or bank note and the cost of producing, distributing and eventually retiring it from circulation. Seigneurage is an important source of revenue for some national banks, although it provides a very small proportion of revenue for advanced industrial countries. Some state-owned enterprises generated profits that helped finance government activities. The government entities that operate for profit are usually manufacturing and financial institutions. Services such as nationalized healthcare do not operate for a profit to keep costs low for consumers. The Soviet Union relied heavily on turnover taxes on retail sales. Sales of natural resources, and especially petroleum products, were an important source of revenue for the Soviet Union. In market-oriented economies with substantial state enterprise, such as in Venezuela, the state-run oil company PSDVA provides revenue for the government to fund its operations and programs that would otherwise be profit for private owners. In various mixed economies, the revenue generated by state-run or state-owned enterprises are used for various state endeavors, typically the revenue generated by state and Government agencies goes into a sovereign wealth fund. An example of this is the Alaska Permanent Fund and Singapore's Tomasek Holdings. Various market socialist systems or proposals utilize revenue generated by state-run enterprises to fund social dividends, eliminating the need for taxation altogether.